Germany has returned a painting looted by the Nazis to the hairs of a French Jewish politician and resistance leader who was executed during World War II. The portrait by 19th century French painter Thomas Kutcher had been on display in a spectacular collection hoarded by Cornelius Gerlet, the son of a Nazi-era art dealer. The portrait of a seated young woman by Kutcher, which belonged to the resistance figure Georges Mendel, was discovered in the late collectors of art trove while German authorities were investigating a tax case in 2012. German culture minister Monica Gretters presented the work to relatives of Mendel, who was executed by French fascists near Paris in 1944, in a ceremony at the end of the Martin Gropes Baum Museum in Berlin. The reclusive Bavarian collector inherited much of the 1,500-piece collection from his father, an art dealer who traded in his works confiscated by the Nazis. Many are thought to have been looted from their original Jewish owners, but provenance research has been slow, and only few have been restituted. Experts determined two years ago that the painting had been looted from Mendel, relying on a small hole in the canvas as evidence of its heritage. Mendel's lover had sighted the hole above the seated woman's torso when she reported the painting stolen after the war. Gretters was joined at the ceremony by representatives of the Kunstmuseum Bern, which inherited Gerlitz's collection when he died in 2014, and an envoy from the French embassy. About 400 pieces from the collection by masters such as Monet, Gangwin, Renoir, and Picasso have been on display in Bern, the western German city of Bonn, and in Berlin. Gretters pledged to do everything possible in order to return the stolen works to its rightful owners. She called the Kutcher paintings, return a moving conclusion to the exhibitions of the Gerlitz Trove, and underlined Berlin's commitment to provenance research. She quotes, We have George's Mendel's family to thank that we could show this work in all three exhibitions. In this way, we could inform the public about the fate of the Jewish politician George's Mendel, who was persecuted and imprisoned by the Nazis. More than 1,500 works were discovered in 2012 in the possession of the, the Munich pensioner Cornelius Gerlitt. His father, Hildebrand Gerlitt, had worked as an art dealer for the Nazis from 1938. The discovery of the stash made headlines around the world and revived an emotional debate about how Thoroughly, post-war Germany had dealt with art plundered by the Nazi regime. When Gerlitt died, the Bern Museum accepted the collection. Though it had left about 500 works in Germany for a government task force to research their often murky origins, determining the provenance has been slow, and it remained unclear how many works were stolen. The Kutcher portrait was the fifth work from the collection restored to the Hares, and the sixth definitively classed as have been looted by the Nazis. Marcel Bruhlhardt, who represented the Bern Museum at an event, welcomed the return of the art. He states, What is decisive in the end is not the number of restorations, but to the honest and committed efforts in clarifying the origins of the complete works in the Gerlitz collection. Which brings me to my thesis. All artwork should be returned to the rightful owners.